Today we're going to talk about the lines that Walter Anderson used in his drawings and artwork. So he started using this book by Adolfo Bess Mogard called A Method for Creative Design. In the book, it discusses using the seven motifs. The idea of the seven motifs is that if you learned how to draw these seven lines, you could use them to draw anything. Sometimes Walter would draw the lines on a piece of paper that he was using to remind himself to use the seven motifs. He practiced those lines over and over and over until he could draw them without even thinking about them. I like to say he created muscle memory. Today we're going to do a simple block print using styrofoam. There are many different ways to make a block print, including wood and linoleum, which was Walter's favorite. Here's the materials that you'll need, a pencil, some paper, some craft foam, ink or liquid watercolor, and a foam brush. We're going to do a simple drawing of a fish using Walter's seven motifs. And now we've used all the seven motifs to draw our fish. One thing you need to make sure is that you've pressed hard enough to make an indention in the foam. If you can't feel it with your finger, then it probably won't print correctly. I'm gonna use some liquid watercolor paint for my ink and apply it with this foam brush. You wanna make sure you don't get it too wet or it'll fill in your lines and you won't be able to see your image. Then we're going to leave our block where it is, get a piece of paper. We're going to lay the paper on top of the block. Once you've placed your paper, you don't want to move it. Then we're going to take our fingers, not our fingertips, and lightly rub the entire surface of the block. Then you're going to peel paper off and you'll have your print. One of the great things about block printing is you can make multiples of your work. You can make artwork, you can make cards to give people, or you can even print on the back of wallpaper like Walter did. This pine lily from our collection was printed and painted by Walter Anderson on the back of wallpaper. You can find these inexpensive art materials at just about any craft store, or you can support the museum by purchasing one of our pre-made block kits. You can go to our website, walteranderson.museum.org.